Lesson 7, Conditional Text. Conditional text is a feature in InDesign that allows users to show and hide text within a design to create alternate versions without creating duplicate files. Text is subbed in and out as needed by turning conditional versions on and off. Conditional text can be used to swap languages, like when you need to create an English, Spanish, and French version of the same design. It can also be used to swap coupon values in a design to create various discount options for different audiences, like having a 10, 20, or 30% off coupon. Conditional text is activated via the conditional text panel in InDesign. It is opened by going to the window menu and choosing window, type and tables, and then conditional text. By default, there will be no conditional text conditions saved. The panel will look empty like you are seeing on screen. I recommend the following steps when creating a conditional text design. First and foremost, keep it simple. Step one, design the entire layout as a static design. In my example, I designed a back to school digital ad in English. Step two, identify where conditional text is needed. In my example, I would like to create an English and a Spanish version of the ad. And I will also want to be able to swap the 20% discount out for a 30% and 50% off version. I will need to create conditions for the discount percentage and for every instance of English and Spanish text. Step three, create your first condition. Let's start with the discount percentages. Type out all versions of the discount back to back to back. Do not include any spaces. Highlight the first discount. In my example, it is 20%. Select the new condition option from the options flyout menu on the conditional text panel. When prompted, give your new condition a name. I am going to use discount 20% and then I'm going to repeat that when I make the other discounts. So I'll use discount 30% and discount 50%. Select OK to create your condition. You must immediately click the new condition. This links your highlighted text to the condition. You can check to make sure it works by toggling the visibility of the condition on and off. 20% should appear and then disappear and reappear and disappear as you do this. Repeat this for any additional conditions. In this example, that will be 30% and 50%. Don't forget to highlight the text that will be part of the condition and then click the new condition immediately after you have created it so that the highlighted text will sync to the newly saved condition. Once all three conditions are created, that's the 20%, the 30%, and 50% off options, you can turn two off and one on to display just one discount at a time. I use the same process to create a Spanish version of the back to school ad. Please excuse my Google Translate if you speak Spanish. I sincerely hope that I got the translation correct. Let's look at the finished version and then we can discuss how it was created. The conditional text panel shows that each area of the text in the design has been saved as two conditions, an ENG condition and an SPN condition to represent the English and Spanish versions of the ad. You are seeing the Spanish version of the ad because all of the ENG or the English versions are turned off on the conditional text panel. You're also seeing 20% as a discount because it is active while the 30% and 50% discount options are turned off. Turning five Spanish and five English options on and off every time you wanna switch from English to Spanish is time consuming. Not only is it 10 mouse clicks, but you need to take your time to make sure you are turning the right conditions on and turning the rest off. If you find yourself in an example like this, you can create something called a condition set for all Spanish and all English words. Turn on all Spanish words 
and a discount of your choosing. Then, expand the conditional text panel to include the set options. You can do this via the Options Flyout menu. Choose Show Options. Then, use the Set drop-down menu to create a new set. Since all the Spanish words are active, I've named the new set Spanish. I now need to repeat this for English. To do that, I will turn all of the English words on and the Spanish words off, and then I will save a new set and name it English. Now you can quickly toggle between English and Spanish using the Set drop-down menu. You can see this in real time by watching the video on screen. Make sure all conditions that you want to be active when the set is turned on are visible. That's the most important part. And so before I created a new set, I turned all of the Spanish words on and all of the English words off, and then I saved it as Spanish. Then I toggled all of the English words on and all the Spanish words off. And then I double checked to make sure I just see English in my design. Then using the same set flyout menu, you can create a new set and call it English. Now that I have an English and a Spanish set, you can quickly switch between them by using the set drop down menu to select English and then Spanish and then English again. Bye.